Hey, look what we've got here. It's a 1970 Corvette Roadster, original color, Mulsane blue. And under the hood is a number matching 350 with 350 horsepower. And there's a number matching four speed sitting right there too. And a 336 Posse in the back. It's a two top Roadster. Go to volocars.com. You can take your time and look at over 100 photos top to bottom, read the information about the car, and you'll find price tags with monthly finance options on every car we have for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure you subscribe, click on that bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. I bought four collector cars from one gentleman that actually lived very close by. Uh, all of them were in great shape, including this one. He said he really prided himself on keeping them maintained. It's not a body off frame, not a perfect car, but he says he was crazy about the maintenance, uh, keeping them dialed in. He's actually sending me over uh, the invoices for the maintenance that he's done. Unfortunately, I don't have it in time for the video. I'll post it on our website though. We went through the car. We give a car a complete inspection. All we found was a high beam bulb was out. So that's all we did to the car. Um, so anyway, underneath the car, nice, clean, solid, proper. The frame solid. The fiberglass floors are clean. I didn't see any damage or broken fiberglass. The spare tire carrier assembly is all up there. Uh, it has the correct dual exhaust system. Looks to be in excellent shape with the big square tips coming out through the valance. Of course, these are four wheel independent suspension, uh, miscellaneous new parts, uh, sway bar end links, uh, shocks look new, um, a pitman arm, just miscellaneous stuff. So he took it to Tri-Power uh, Corvette, and that's who maintained the cars. So they would look at it and tell him, yep, this needs to be done, and he would do it. Um, <clears throat> looking up at the motor, it's clean. The lower ignition shielding, that's the stainless uh, covers over the spark plug wires are there. The starter looks brand new. Fuel pump looks fresh. When I went and looked at his cars, the transmission was actually out being uh, gone through. So that transmission is fresh. That was just put back in. It seems to function real well. Um, the transmission is VIN number matching. It's an M20 Muncie four-speed. Uh, it has the correct 336 Posi rear end in the back. Um, disc brakes at all four wheels. The e-brake is hooked up. Actually, the cable looks like it's new. So sits nice. So everything underneath the car is good working order and good shape. The body is excellent. I mean, really, one of the nicest bodies I've seen on one of these Corvettes, mostly uh, because this whole wiper door assembly there all fits really well but it fits really well everywhere. And I don't see any damage in the body. I don't see body work showing. I don't see cracking or damage. The body is all excellent. This is straight, no issues. All nice clean fiberglass, not broken or busted or nothing wrong with the body. It's in really nice shape. All this is really nice. Headlight doors fit real well. This is nice and smooth. A lot of times there's rivets under here that will start pushing through the fiberglass. Not on this one. It's all clean and smooth. So the paint, it's repainted its original Mulsane blue color. It's beautiful. You stand right here. It's perfect. Uh, you get up close. It's all laid out evenly, but there's flaws. Here's a touch up right here. Uh, it's got a little texture to it, a little fuzzy texture, like, like probably when it was new, that, that amount of texture. Uh, there's like a blend line, and you got to really look for this stuff. A um, couple touch-ups right here. Um, okay, hairline cracking in the paint, not in the body, but in the paint right here. Um, 
it's chipped like they almost all are from putting the top up and that where it, it rubs. It's a little chipped right here when they set the top on there, must have hit the paint. So there are some chips and imperfections in the paint, but again, it shows very well. Uh, the back bumpers look like a reproduction bumpers. The chrome is very nice. Uh, emblems, tail lights look nice. Looks like it has the original antenna in good shape. Original cross flags, they're nice, but they're a little faded. We got 15 by 8 Corvette Rally wheels. The trim looks like they're new, this sparkling trim. Uh, nice original door handles. The trim around the window and the window itself looks original. It has a little patina. It has a white convertible top. I think it's picture number 36. There's a small slit on the side of it. And then up on top here, there's a piece of vinyl that looks like it's missing. So the top's very usable. It's a nice, clean white top. It's not new. Also has the hard top, which we'll show you in a little bit. So that's the exterior of the car. We didn't talk about the front. Uh, it all shines nice. Uh, you know, it looks like a 7 out of 10. It has the weather shields. Uh, behind the grills that protect the headlights. That's still there. Um, so nice looking uh, exterior. Let's open it up, see the interior. Okay, there's no trunk on the back of this car, but there is this key lock here. What is that for? That's for the factory alarm. Have not tried it. I was told not to try them because sometimes they turn on and don't shut off. Door jams are clean. Uh, the weather strips overall are good. They're a little, little tattered in places, but door panels in mint condition. Has a tilt telescopic wheel. The dash area is in excellent shape. The instruments, the gauges, you know, the, the dash pad, all the trim is really nice. Shows 87,000 miles is probably correct. Uh, has an owner's manual. Kick panels are nice. Carpet's a little faded in places. The carpet's good. Center console's real nice. Has the reverse lockout shifter. Has the e-brake. This is all in real good shape. Leather, armrest cushion, leather seats. These are correct leather seats. Carpet in the back is also good, a little bit sun faded. There are six by nine speakers uh, just sitting back there. Nothing was cut uh, to do that because there was a retro stereo in the dash. Fits right in the factory hole. The top's very usable. Honestly, I would not replace it for that little tear. If I owned it, top would be down anyway. So this is the optional engine. It's a 350 putting out 350 horsepower. And it looks like it's all stock. The dual snorkel air cleaner, the intake, the carburetor, the fin valve covers, the exhaust. This is the ignition shielding. They put shielding over the exhaust or the uh, spark plug wires. I think it has something to do with being a fiberglass body. They have to uh, shield the uh, Electricity going through those where you get feedback in the radio. Uh, power brakes, um, the cooling system, the clutch fan, the shroud, all that looks to be in really good shape. Also has power steering. I did just notice the heater core is not connected. So there is no uh, heater core uh, at the moment. So if that's something that you need to discuss with the salesman. Everything else looks clean and proper. Okay, so the hardtop's in really nice shape. It's painted to match the car, and the stainless trim is real good. The weather strip is good. It's kind of hard, but it's all one piece. And the headliner is in excellent shape. So you have the uh, optional hardtop that comes with it. Yeah. 
feels real good. Feels smooth. Sponsor. Just giving it another look. This is actually the original paint in the door jams here. Uh, probably the original weather strip. I could see the bonding strips. This is a no-hit uh, body. So it's not a perfect car, but it's a really good car. Look how that door shuts and lines up so nice. Um, so, yeah, you got a blue four-speed number match, 350 horsepower, two-top roadster here. Very nice driver-type car. I've been selling the show quality uh, versions of this for $20,000, $30,000 more than what we're asking for this one. Uh, so go to volocars.com. You can talk to the salesman about your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.